What is going on the uh my guys and dolls? This is Cozzy here. I'm kidding by the dolls by the way. And it's been a while because I haven't actually done many videos, as you've probably seen in my apology video if you're subscribed to my channel. If not, then you should check out that video because like I say I'm really sorry. But anyway, I'll leave that video to that video. Playing Titanfall, gonna be using the carbine. I'm obsessed with the carbine. I don't really use anything else but the carbine, and I don't even know why to be honest with you. I guess it's because there's only one other assault rifle and even that assault rifle's free burst as I think anyway. So yeah guys, like I said it's been a while and something I did want to say about because it kinda caught my eye because I noticed that a couple of people who got the loot crates um for March I believe. March loot crates it was Attack on Titan theme to it. So uh it was Attack on Titan well Attack on Titan for the class in ours and I just I don't know, the, the concept really grabbed me straight away because I thought, you know, how cool would it be to like, if they made a one-off episode of Attack on Titan where there were actually people who had titles and such like that, or if they actually had a map where you could see Attack on Titan characters. I know it seems a little bit far-fetched and they probably wouldn't do it to be honest with you, but I reckon it'd be a cool idea. Just because, they're, they're, they're a similar kind of thing some, to some retrospect I guess I don't know but the, the loot crate was really good you should see a couple of loot crate unboxings that people have done on them uh, plus some really cool things in the end I don't know if they're available to UK people or not I think they are not 100% sure but there's not many things usually too many things that catch my eye in the loot crate but unboxings that people do and that um, but I enjoy watching them nonetheless because I just enjoy unboxing videos of things and it always changes every single week that's always in um, the loot crates as well but anyway at attack on titan themed kind of thing like I said even if they did a map where you could see like Eren and Mikasa and stuff flying about and I, I don't know like you've got the boneyard map where you've got dinosaurs and stuff flying about I reckon it'd be cool so I, I'm not too sure but not got off to a bad start here guys on this uh, I haven't really played it too much. I'm actually having a problem connecting at the beginning. I don't know why. The servers have been a little bit off and on at the moment. Not too sure why. I think they're trying to update their matchmaking and things like that. I know they've added a private lobby kind of system to it now. So I guess that's good for anybody who wants to, uh, well, obviously play private or maybe even learn the maps. And I did not see that guy. I can snap my neck. Lovely. I'm going to call out straight away my Titan. Not going to mess about here, guys. And that started really well on this game, and I'm not going to lie, I seem to have got downhill on it more and more, but I guess a lot of people at the beginning ran around and such, and maybe I took advantage of that, because it does play out similar to COD. And why is my old teammate hitting me? I'm too sure that this guy's in auto titan mode. Oh, just managed to get him. I didn't think I was going to get that guy. Am I actually going to get taken out by an auto titan here? Maybe possibly, guys. If you take out the titan, that would be a bonus. There we go. Jump out instantly. I don't know if I've got auto eject in this class or not, but I always tap X anyway. Just in case. Sometimes I do like to have the Marty Dom kind of uh, perk on. Otherwise, especially if you've got a group around you, it does give you an advantage. I don't usually like things with Marty Dom. Used to piss me off to hell on Call of Duty, but. Yeah, it does. It does help on this game purely because it does sometimes help you whittle down the, uh, especially getting overrun by titans. It does help sometimes so to clear the field a little bit. Cloaking ability. I seem to stick with a lot of things to be honest with you, which uh, preset on the classes. Uh, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the perks and such on this game. I don't think many in my two, but I'm not going to complain about it because I like that they haven't overcomplicated it too much. Because uh, one of the things I think they're doing with Call of Duty it's wrong now is just they're overcomplicating it too much with the class systems and how much just crap you can have one character, you know. I prefer to go back to the COD 4 days world at war. Even Modern Warfare 2, I think, just had it about right, but. I don't know. 
not, I am playing Call of Duty less and less to be honest with you. Playing my Xbox less and less at the moment, but I seem to be doing nothing but frigging working at the moment, so. I like certain beforehand, I do enjoy doing this, so. And I'm gonna rodeo this, biatch. Although I'm gonna shoot. No, I'm not gonna rodeo him because I died. I do like that gun he's using. The thing with the gun with that rifle is that it's single fire, so it's precision, and I do like that. I've always liked that about like the M14, the foul things like that in Call of Duty. Um, but on this is that there's a perk on it, and I do like the perk is that you can shoot as fast as you can, but it limits how many bullets you can actually have. And this guy's gonna instantly jump off my back as soon as he knows I'm not thinking him. Yep, I knew he would. He's gonna rodeo on me again. There we go, I managed to get the guy off this time. Hit in the ass when you get somebody rodeoing you. But it's not too bad if you've got a teammate with you. But unfortunately, I've got no teammates for me to be able to help with that kind of thing. Oh god, I didn't even realise there were another Titan there. Sweet. I don't even know how that blew up, but I'll take that. Somebody behind me now. Wow, that was a bit of a stupid predicament that guy put himself in there. Another rodeo, lovely. You know what? I'm just gonna literally run from this because I still got the guy. See, rodeos are uh, all well and good, but. If you're not clever enough to know when to disembark, then sometimes screw yourself over. I think they've got control of that turret as well. Oh no, we've got control of it, never mind. Ignore me guys! I don't even know what I'm on about half the time. I do, but... Seem to be winning this at the moment, I believe. Oh, I thought I put myself in predicament then, but I managed to get out of it. Guy there, got my Titan again. Don't always like calling my Titan out straight away, because sometimes you don't feel like it's necessary to call out straight away, you know? And we've got the victory, guys. I'm going to call out my Titan just purely because we've got the victory. Trying to intercept people coming across with it. Even I could have probably gone over to close to the area with my Titan. Although saying that, I don't know I'm actually here where it needs to be. I must just stay around here. See if I can catch anybody on the off chance coming up. Kill a few grunts, get myself a little bit more XP whilst I'm at it. The IMC will be heading towards the evac point. Don't I'm not actually escape. seeing any other guys. Go over here, see if we find anyone from behind. No, I'm, I'm also have a good trying to destroy this uh, ship instead. Well, I don't think anybody's actually offering much help except for the heavy turret. And I've got a rodeo, oh, really? You're not really going to take me out in this moment in time, are you? Wow, what a stupid, stupid thing to do. Anyway guys, we won that and I went 14 to 3 with one Titan kill. Not too bad. 10 uh, minions. He killed 40 minions at the top. <laughs> wow. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. We'll be bringing more your way very shortly. And as always, take care and thank you for watching.